He's best known as the Incredible Hulk. But on this day, Lou Ferrigno is about to become Irving's first honorary police officer. How are you? We've never sworn in an honorary police officer before. To have the Hulk, Lou Ferrigno, be our first, I think sets the bar pretty high. Raise your right hand, repeat after me. He took the oath in front of the kids of Irving's Police Athletic League. The Hulk was a hero of a generation. Yeah, have you seen him on TV? It's uh, my dad has. I kind of take you back? <laughs> yes, yes, back to my childhood. We all wanted to be that strong. We all wanted to, to have that kind of power. The anger issues, you know, probably weren't uh, the best, but it was a great TV show and a lot of fun. I, Lou Ferrigno. I, Lou Ferrigno. Ferrigno reached out to the Irving Police Department in advance of his visit to the region. He studied law enforcement and served as a volunteer deputy in California. To become an honorary officer in Irving, Chief Spivey told him he had to take on the department's commitment to community outreach. His giving back in order to earn that badge is talking to these kids at the Police Athletic League. Congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank so with the oath complete, Corigno shares messages from his life experience. He warns against drugs and bullying. As a kid, I was bullied. I was afraid to talk about it. He answers questions from the kids. One asked about his time playing the Hulk. I love the character. I used to read all these Hulk comics when I was a kid. I should have saved it because if I had all these original comics, I could buy Irving. <laughs> Ferrigno also explained how fitness has benefited his career and life. So you're involved in boxing, fitness, dancing, and embrace it. Irving police hope the impact extends beyond the positive messages Lou Ferrigno shared here today. They want to draw attention to PAL's ongoing programs and the opportunities for growth. I want to expand our outreach into the community through our Police Athletic League. I can't do that in this building. We're busting at the seams. So the police department is working to raise money to renovate this old National Guard Armory building on North O'Connor Road. We have a really unique opportunity thanks to the Texas Attorney General seizing some funds from a fraudulent company. Uh, we need to raise $202,000 in matching funds in order for the state to give us the $202,000 that they seize. That's the target. But for now, through PAL's programs, including archery, fitness, and more, police know they are already making an impact here in their original home on Rock Island Road, and they appreciate this new star support. What do you think of programs like this, the Police Athletic League, that instills values of athletics? It's great because I think it teaches you integrity, good moral, and respect for yourself. This is the place they can read and they can feel like they will have to deal with drugs and rejection. How are you guys doing? Along with this added attention to PAL, people are taking the time to simply be fans and snap some pictures with Lou Ferrigno. Meeting one of your childhood idols is always an amazing experience. Irving police officer Michael Rios is also an artist. He asked Ferrigno to sign his painting of the Hulk. It's all spray paint. I use a lot of tape and then I draw it out, cut it out, just layers and layers of, of paint. Beyond getting his painting signed, Rios hopes Ferrigno's visit creates a lasting impression. They always look up to TV stars and movie stars and to have him here in our gym talking to our kids is a great experience. And the man who played a hero on TV wants these kids to know they have heroes all around them here in their hometown. It's important they have that positive reinforcement. I'm very happy to see that. Thomas Gandy for City Source.